So one of the hardest things about providing and provisioning help to people and providing good quality customer service is to be reminded of the fact that when you are in your hours on the job, you are not a representative fully of your own self. You are representative of the standards that we expect, the standard operating procedures we deliver and we train you in, and openly a representative of many brands and many corporations that are vended throughout our shop. I want to remind you that every single corporation across America has what's called a code of ethics. And a code of ethics is appropriate behavior, socially appropriate behavior that are professional standards of employment on the job. So any attitudes, any discrimination, any thoughts you have about giving yourself some sort of fun or elation at another person's expense goes to the wayside. You can leave that shit at home. And we're just going to be frank. Employees get sued by companies like ours every day for forgetting who they are on the job. You are not representing yourself. You are not a misfit on our job and company dime. You are not allowed to use your information of other people in terms of consumers and what they buy to help anyone else to be informed. So let's talk a moment about consumer rights. Consumer rights are that people have the right to make purchases that are private without you providing that information to anyone in the public that comes by after them. It is obvious that when we stand behind people in the line, we might notice what they buy, and there might be a little social repartee about, hey, do you like that product or whatnot, between our guests and our customers in our store on a day-to-day -day basis on any given day. But the truth is, as an employee, you do not have the right to provide that information to someone who comes in and says, hey, what does he buy? What does she purchase? What did she buy with the money? How much did she spend? That is not your business, that is not your provision of services in our shop ever at any time. Consumer rights also say that a person has the right, based on our return policy, to return things, as long as it's not perishable goods in general, unless of course there's mold or something that makes it a problem, that we didn't notice when it came through our delivery system, our logistics program. Logistics, of course, is when trucks bring product to a store and they brought it from the warehouse or the corporation. Now when we're talking about these things, we're talking about common sense things that you may or may not be aware of. We apologize to those of you who think this is marvelously boring, but let me tell you, every year employees get sued by our company for improper behavior on and off the job in our uniforms. You see, the hardest part about being an employee is recognizing that you are building relationships on behalf of our company which means there might be proprietary information, which means there's private or confidential or secret information that our company keeps private to our company and does not provide to our competitors. But at the same time, we have this requirement underneath the guide of privacy and underneath the guise of social etiquette that you do not have the right to misbehave with customers on or off the job. You see, a foul-mouthed person, an inappropriately behaving person, a touchy person can cause our corporations millions of dollars in lawsuits. A person who discriminates on the job, pretending to be in charge of someone who's one of our guests in our store can cause a major lawsuit. And we will turn that around and put it on you if we are found that you were negligent and intentionally so. So what I'm talking about is your, let's give an example today, or not. That when you're walking to your job in your shirt or with your shirt in your arms and you've met a customer before in our shop, you are always an employee of our company in that moment of time. If you're no longer working for our company, then you're no longer that employee, but you are still, you need to be regardful of the fact that you met that individual solely and singly, not in your social networking time, but in your professional business time on our employment dime on our job that we've graciously given and extended to you.